Hi folks, it's Ron. In this video, I will show you how to install a CAT6 feed through modular plug on a piece of CAT6 cable. Ideal is pleased to announce our new CAT6 feed through modular plug and FT45 crimp tool product line. Unlike traditional multi-piece CAT6 connectors, the single piece CAT6 feed through modular plug and crimp tool offer a simplified solution for modular plug preparation and termination that results in perfect terminations every time. If you'd like to learn more, please contact our customer service department or visit our website. Step one is to remove approximately one and a half inches of outer jacketing using a UTP stripping tool. Then remove the nylon rip cord with a pair of snips. Then fold out the pairs where they are naturally laying around the outer jacketing. And if you do that right, the blue pair is opposite the green pair and the brown pair is opposite the orange pair. Step two, grip the cable at the end of the jacketing and untwist and straighten each of the pairs, leaving them in the four separate corners. It is important to completely untwist and straighten the pairs all the way down to the outer jacket. Then using the 568B wiring configuration, put the pairs in the proper order from left to right, double checking that they are in the correct order. With one hand, pinch the pairs flat just past the outer jacket and then bring the outer pairs closer to the middle and bend the pairs back and forth a couple of times and then using a twisting motion, straighten the pairs so the conductors are straight, flat, and in the correct order. The straighter the wires are, and the closer they are together, the easier it will be to attach the plug. Step three, trim the ends of the conductor straight across using the snips. This removes any bent or uneven ends and allows the conductors to slide freely through the connector. Leave approximately one inch of conductor exposed. An exact measurement is not required. Then insert the trim pairs into and through the CAT6 plug, making sure the white-orange conductor is to the left and the gold pins on the connector are facing you. Verify the inserted cable is fully seated inside the plug, and it is fully seated when the jacket is approximately one quarter of an inch from the gold pins. This minimizes the amount of wire being untwisted and brings the twisted pairs well into the body of the plug, which minimizes crosstalk and noise among the pairs. Now re-verify that the wires are still in the correct order before you crimp the connector. Step four, insert the assembled connector inside the crimping tool and crimp the connector. It will crimp the cable strain relief, gold pins, and trim off the excess conductors flush to the end face of the connector. Then inspect the completed plug to make sure all the pins are down below the plastic body of the plug and all the conductors are trimmed flush with the end of the plug and anyone who's assembled traditional standard and multi-piece modular plugs knows it's a time-consuming and often an error-prone process. The ideal feed-through RJ45 modular plugs and FT45 crimping tool are designed to simplify and improve the consistency of cable-to-connector terminations of CAT5E and CAT6 modular plugs to twisted pair cables. Hey, thanks for watching, folks. I'm Ron with Ideal, and I'll see you on the next one.